Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the new video. So basically in this video, we're going to see this problem. Maximum number of alloys. Again, we are seeing a lead code weekly contest 366, 363, all the problems. So just go under the problem name, RM Mittal. You can just see solutions for all the problems. Cool. Uh, maximum number of alloys. You are, oh, you are the owner of a company that creates alloys. Again, that's easy question. Just the naming variables too many variables and stuff because of that it kind of become a bit complicated but it's an easy question good uh you are the owner of a company which creates alloys using various types of metals now i have n different types of metals available i'll just explain by the example itself so basically you have n metals now you have k machines you can see you have two machines you have two machines now for every two machines let's say if i want to make an alloy now i will use i can use only one machine again mark my word if i want to make an alloy i can use only one machine so my main task is to maximize the number of alloys i can make so i will ultimately be concerned of that how many number of alloys i can make by using this particular ith machine and i have such k such machines now you can see for this ith machine i have some values here now these value represent that what is the metal quantity needed to actually make one alloy now it just says that i have three different kind of metals just saying i have three different kind of metals so to make one alloy i need one metal let's say i have m1 m2 and m3 now to make one alloy i need one m1 one m2 and one m3 that is it this stock shows me that okay for m1 m2 and m3 how much pre-stock i have right now now this cost indicates me m1 m2 m3 that to buy one metal m1 i need one cost of one rupees uh, or one dollars uh, to buy this one metal m2 i need two dollars to buy three to, to buy one metal m3 i need three dollars it just shows so all these values are for the metal how much stock for each metal i have how much cost will each unit of metal will incur and how much unit of each metal is actually required for the composition of one alloy and my task is to go and try for all the alloys because sorry all the machines because one machine can only be used to make all the alloys so if i just if i choose a machine i have to stick to that machine and make all the alloys with that machine itself so it's a very basic task that one thing is for sure that i have to stick to one machine and i can just go and try for all the machines i have just k machines and my k value is just 100 so for sure i can just go and say hey bro can you please let me know that how many maximum number of alloys how many maximum number of alloys i can make by using this machine m1 now that is the pretty 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 basic thing which you have to do right now right now just going on back my main task is to find this x which is the number of alloys which i can make and i want to just maximize this x now my main task is to find the number of alloys which i can make using this particular using this particular machine let's say mh mh1 so my main task is to know that okay how many maximum number of alloys which i can make using the first machine now first machine has these corresponding metal values which shows me okay how much metal i would need uh, to get one alloy done now if i just ask you hey bro um, you should be at this budget cost right now just considering a fact that i am right now making x alloys if i am if i am making x alloys for sure i need x into m1 for sure i'm just showing okay how much metal one i i would require how much metal two how much metal three if i'm making x alloys so i would be requiring x into m1 metal one x into m2 of metal two x into m3 of metal three i would be requiring right it is the ultimate requirement which i would have if i am planning to make x alloys and x is, x is variable right now and again i want to maximize this x please remember this but at the back of your mind now if i 
it is by requirement but you know that okay you already have a stock with you so so then see again i will just write this as a composition of m1 right composition of m2 composition of m3 now when i'm writing this please make sure okay i'm just pointing to the first composition itself it is for this c it is for this c c and for this corresponding m1 m2 m2 i'm just i just like written this for a stock same thing goes in that okay it is the requirement which you have for each metal but still you have some stock with you right so please use that stock first so i will use the stock for m1 i'll use the stock for m2 i'll use the stock for m3 and i can just say okay it is after subtracting whatsoever i it is a requirement of it is the what i had previously after subtracting this value i will get okay what is the ultimate number of metal one required ultimate number of metal one required and for each requirement of metal one for sure i will have a cost incurred so it is nothing but the cost of metal one so i can just say okay for each and it is the ultimate requirement which i need to need to need to buy for that ultimate requirement you need to know okay for each metal okay m1 your cost is cost of metal one for this it is cost of metal two for this it is cost of metal three but Multi ultimately is multiplying these values because for sure it is the number of metals once required and for each metal one you would incur this particular cost just make sure in this fact that you are subtracting m1 it might have happened that okay here you are just as you can see let's say if my x is very small let's say i'm just saying okay uh, my main target is to make just one alloy and my ultimate composition is also one but let's say in my stock i have 100 metal one right so it can be a minus 99 so you won't use a minus 99 which means okay i have excess so that's good no so why i would in a minus 99 into cost i'll not do it so please make sure okay just do a maximum value with zero itself okay it should not be it should not be a negative value which means that ultimately is saying that you are requiring a actual metal actual number of metals you are requiring you are not requiring negative number of metals that's a simple fact just make sure okay when you are solving it just do a maximum of x into cm1 minus sm minus sm1 comma zero right that's a simple fact now this is the ultimate cost which i would incur if i am making x alloys but 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 that should be less than equal to my budget and that is my main requirement that okay it should be less than equal to my budget so ultimately it is i know see i know all the variables except x i know all the variables except x i just want to maximize my x now again you know this equation right you know, you know this equation it says that x is variable and that variable needs to be maximized so why not try for all the possible values of x and just simply see okay what maximum value you can reach such that it is less than equal to your budget so simple one way is you just try for all the x values from linearly okay i will use one alloy i i'll i'll i can make let's no alloy one alloy two alloy three alloy up till up till how much up till how much 18 alloy 18 alloy because you can see the maximum budget is 18 is it 18 is it 18 alloy let's let's for now say it's 18 alloy but it is not 18 alloy how because aryan uh, as you showed here itself let's see my budget itself is 18 right now let's say in my existing stock in my existing stock i have what maximum i can have okay it's actually also 18 so let's say in my existing stock also i have 18 18 18 for all the metals and let's say the composition itself is one so and my cost let's say my cost which i would incur uh, for this particular value is as minimum as possible let's say one let's say one so for sure you can just see okay for this particular let's say i just want x metals i already uh, i know okay that the composition composition uh, is one now i will just subtract 18 from this because i already have 18 metals and uh, also that i know that the cost incurred and for sure 
and the cost incurred. Let's 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 imagine I have only one metal right now. So as to make you just make sure okay how I'm actually finding what's the maximum number of alloys which I can make. Right. So just saying that my maximum cost is actually also 18 budget, but I have to multiply this with the cost itself. Now let's taking as a minimum cost possible because ultimately I just want to maximize my X. It's, it's my main target. Maximize my X as much as possible. Again, I took the minimum value as let's say one. So if you just say, hey, I mean, if let's say I say it's 18. Okay. If it's 18 then it's a zero okay let's say less than x so for sure you can just try for a higher value you can try 2 into 18 hmm. so you can see that 2 into 18 uh, is actually less than equal to my this 18 as a budget because 2 into 18 and here i just multiplied with 1 taking the minimum value now taking this as the maximum i can subtract taking the minimum I can multiply so as to just make maximize my x so you can just see okay it will be 2 into 18 as the maximum value in my code I just taken money 12 so as to just not make sure okay I just lie down in this particular range I just took at two, but yeah you can see that okay the maximum you can actually make alloys are 2 into 18 now simply you can just go and iterate entirely but again you cannot just simply go and try for all these values it's just, it's, it's just simply again a 18 iteration and for every 18 iteration you are just going on all the compositions of k so it will be 18 into 100 which is k then for sure it will not work so just rather than simply going linearly why not simply go uh, do a binary search on this particular x number of alloys simply assuming that okay i just put on any of this x in the mid and just check if that x satisfies just try for a higher x if not just try for lower x and simply just keep on for keep on doing it for all the machines which means you will keep on trying it for all the machines firstly for machine one you will try what is the optimal number of or what was the maximum number of alloys you can make with the machine one then for the machine two now for the machine one when you're finding of maximum number of alloys just simply do a binary search on number of alloys which you can make from simply zero to two into one eight right because with that you can easily get to know that what is the maximum number of alloys which you can make although in my code i have just taken i was planning to take 1 10 because just i was just getting confused between okay 2 into or 10, 10 or 10, 1 into 10 so i just got this as a uh, 1 10 but you can just and for the worst case i took 1 12 because no way it can go forward because you can see if i just take the value as 1 12 it will still multiply by it can still multiply by cost which is actually 100 so and now uh, it can still sorry if my x is 1 12 it can still be multiplied with this particular uh, composition which is actually 100 it can still be multiplied with the cost which is actually again 100 so if you take a very high value let's say 1 16 so it can just again overflow so make sure that okay you are taking an optimal large values not to put in much brains you can still take any values which is 1 8 10 1 8 12 or anything still i showed you what's the optimal value which is actually 2 into 1 8 cool now going back forward uh going back forward but yeah going back we just actually saw that okay we'll just try for all the machines for all the machines i'll do a separate binary search for all the machines to find the maximum number of alloys which i can make with that machine and that optimality which i will just i'm just trying is actually x which is the number of alloys which i can make with that machine itself let's quickly see, see the code it's pretty simple uh we have seen the bind search code a lot of times exactly same as that what we have seen i will have an answer now r in y is this long long you will get to know i just that is just that okay i take my r as money 12 so if this is money 12 so my mid also needs to be long long uh, then I just tried for okay if that particular mid which is the x number of alloys and you can see I just I'm just trying for all the compositions one by one and I'm passing on okay it is the number of alloys it is the mid number of alloys which I'm trying for this composition because each composition means okay, each machine right now all these values remain same as it is it's just that the mid and compositions are changing because of compositions as the input and mid as the binding search part now if it is okay simply update the result 
as you know it is it is less than equal to so you can simply update the result and try for a higher value of uh, your number of alloys else you can try for a lesser value of number of alloys and keep on updating your answer with a maximum of answer and current number of uh, maximum alloys which you have found out for this particular composition and simply return the answer in the end again uh, here also i made my result as ll because my mid was also ll and for that my answer also needs to be ll ultimately it will be in the integer range for sure because i need to return the integer also also and as i showed you also it will be 2 into 1 8 at max so for sure it will be actually an integer itself but still just for my simplicity and just for fat fastness i took that as ll just make sure now for actually this particular number of x as i showed you i have got x number of alloys now i just want to try for that x number of alloys for that particular composition what is the answer now i will just find okay what is the cost what is the cost which is this left side what is the cost and it should be less than equal to my budget then it's a good x number of alloys so i just went on to all my n machines for that for that composition i'm going on to all the n machines and finding the cost again i'm just sticking as i showed you i will just go and find this particular value which is x into composition minus stock and taking maximum with zero so x into composition minus stock maximum taking with zero and ultimately multiplying that with the cost itself with the cost itself ultimately finding it finding the total cost incurred if i'm using x alloys and if that is less than equal to my budget i'm good to make x alloys and simply go on and keep on trying this for every answer cool uh, that's all for this video so you're gonna do it okay bye bye